Hi, I'm Kate at Coots Everston. This is a short video just to have a little chat about what to expect if you are rehoming a mature Datsund. Obviously, um, like people, all dogs are individual and they all have their individual personalities and their temperaments can vary. When you rehome one of our dogs, of course, we will have already discussed at great length um, the personalities of um, the dog that you are going to have joining your family. Um, but it's important to understand and for us to manage your expectation with regard to that initial settling in period. So we like to say, always work on a rule of three. So when your sausage arrives with you, um, allow three days, three days just for him or her to settle and feel comfortable in his or her new environment. We then say three weeks. Three weeks is about the right length of time for your dog to have learned his or her new routine. It will take them that long to understand what's expected of them and what their new routine is. So three days to settle, three weeks to learn routine, and then we say three months, the rule of three, three months for your sausage to feel like he or she has always been there, always been there with you and is part of the family. There are a few things that we would advise you do to aid that settling in process. One thing that's very important is that um, your sausage does not become overwhelmed. Um, when moving to their new environment. So we would say just give them access perhaps to one or two rooms to start with, preferably where the door is to access the outside for toileting. If they could just stay in that room or those rooms for a couple of days, just while they're learning the ropes and what's expected of them, that will aid for a... Uh, an easier transition for you. What we don't want to do is overwhelm them, mind blown, you know, we've, we've, we've gone into a new environment. Um, we want it to be um, a slow and steady process where, the, where your dog um, is able to feel safe and secure in his or her new environment. So small steps. Of course, your dog is toilet trained. Your dog understands routine and it understands what is and isn't okay. They are uh, trained to walk on the lead. They are trained to go out to the toilet. Um, but of course, when you take them from a familiar environment that they know, and in most cases have only ever known, into a new environment, sometimes um, it can be unnerving for the dog. So we have to make allowances. So irrespective of the age of your dog that you're rehoming, imagine for the first couple of days that he or she is a puppy. So um, be mindful that after they've eaten, they're going to need to go to the toilet and take them out to the toilet and reward as you would a puppy with a treat so that very quickly, he or she understands where to go to the toilet and then they will feel comfortable and know what's required of them. So treat them as though they're a puppy, even though they're not for a couple of days and that will ensure um, success when it comes to that transition from our kennels into your family home. So that's, that's a good tip. You may find that he or she is a little bit anxious um, when they first arrive. This is normal, of course it is, everything is new. Um, you might notice that he or she is off their food a little bit. Don't worry, again, this is normal. What you could do is try to introduce an additional meal around lunchtime. 
um, in, in the, it, to try and encourage and, and coax them to eat throughout the day instead of them not eating, say, in the morning um, and then having nothing until tea time. For example, if, if they're feeling anxious and not eating. So to split what would be their daily allowance of food, which is normally split between two meals, to split it across the three, to try and coax and encourage them to, to eat. Um, you may find that um, they have a little bit of diarrhoea. Again, this is normal. Think of us as, as humans, what, what we're like when we feel um, a little bit anxious um, when things are a little strange, um, it can affect us in the same way. So just be mindful that this might happen. And, and if it does, it's only for a few days um, and um, everything will go back to normal as they feel safe and secure. Another thing to notice, if everything is very new, um, what you can find is that they find it difficult sometimes to settle um, because they are um, learning their new environment and um, in some cases there's the, the adrenaline and the excitement. So they find it difficult to relax for a couple of days. This is normal, but it is important that they do relax and they do have that downtime throughout the day. This is something they're used to. Their routine is such that for a couple of hours in the morning and a couple of hours in the afternoon, they have time to rest and, and have always had that with us at Coots. So if you have a pen or a quiet room, it's important to um, put them back into that routine, albeit in your house, so that they can um, so that they can feel safe and secure because that's what the routine does. That's what it gives them. It gives them security and confidence. Um, and this is something they will know and will be familiar to them. And then finally, our sausages never have quiet. So um, when we go to bed, we always play relaxing dog music for them. We often will play that also if we want them to have a rest or a nap during the day. Uh, during the day, It's a cue. It's a cue that all Coots of Everston dogs know and have learnt. So it's a great idea, if you can, to play some relaxing dog music. If you have Alexa or Google, hey Alexa, play relaxing dog music. Sounds silly, but it works. It helps them to relax um, and they know that cue and they know that that's bedtime. So another helpful tip for you. I hope this video has been useful. Um, obviously we're here to help and aid the transition from um, uh, us to you. And it's really important to us that it's successful because we know that you've done your due diligence in finding the right dog for your family. And in turn, we've done the same. We all want it to be successful. So if you have any worries or concerns over that transitional period, or in fact, for the lifetime of your coots at Everston Dog, you know that we are here to help and aid that transition. So pick up the phone, send us a WhatsApp, and Marina and I are here to help and are keen to help because we want, um, we want it to work. So... Um, thank you very much for giving a Coots at Everston a wonderful, loving home and good luck and congratulations. And let's keep in touch because we love to see how all our dogs are doing in their new homes.